Hello everybody and welcome back to the Screw Attack G1 Wrestling Universe. As you may or may not be able to see, it is now time for the Thursday G1 Showdown. Now what do you say we go ahead and get to tonight matches because we got a lot of matches and not a lot of time to get to them. So here we go. Alrighty, but all right, everybody. Uh, welcome to the G1 Showdown. Obviously, as you can tell, our first matchup tonight is between none other than the current champ G1 Hyper Combo and none other than Zelda Ashford, Mini Makoto, as she's also known. Now, if you can also recall, not too long ago, there was some interaction between. Mini Makoto and Hyper Combo when uh, Hyper Combo happened to be at ringside for one of her matches against none other than Kanan and now her interference did cause her to win the match if I can recall that correctly but Still, an assisted win is not a clean win. So, obviously tonight, Miss Ashford and Vicky are going to have a very physical conversation tonight in the ring. Hopefully, we won't see anybody interfere. Because now, Mini Makoto makes her way down to the ring. Well, she did win against Caden via interference. All in all, it was a very good match and a good showing for Mini Makoto. But tonight, she is facing the champ. And there's a reason she is the champ, because she's number one. So the question is, will Mini Makoto be able to hold her own against someone of this caliber, of this prestige? as the G1 Women's Champ. As we get things started off with a big drop kick from Mini Makoto, and be sure to stay tuned to later because we got lots of big matches, even the even a good uh, triple threat match, and even, I believe, the debut of a tag team that has never been seen before so be sure to stay tuned for that but now things getting real physical real technical inside the ring it's Minnie Makoto now with an Irish whip to hyper combo taking her right outside the ring oh, looks like she's ready to take it back inside the ring where things will ultimately have to be said and done and there she's now she's just bouncing her head off the mat oh and a big reversal for Minnie Makoto now stomping away and also I want you all out there to remember if you're enjoying this or by chance want to see more of any of your favorite wrestlers there also is a Monday main event that happens every Monday and who knows what happens there we have lots and um, lots of different things going on currently for example none other than G1 Hyper Combo herself while in this match is currently having to fend off at some point her title will go up for grabs and it will probably be after the woman coming for it known as Kelly or Kanan but obviously for right now she is going to have to get through Mini Makoto and she is putting up quite the offense oh my goodness and also we uh 
seeing the recent resurgent of the original G1 Game Days camp, uh, champ come back into play, come back into the ring recently. I believe he's going to be here tonight later on. But that'll be seen later. And Mini Mikoto with G1 Hyper Combo against the ropes, throwing her over to the side of the ring. Oh, what's she doing now? Going out there with her. Oh, a DDT. Taking things to the outside the hard way. But again, that count goes up. They will be count out if they don't get back in the ring. But G1 Hyper Combo looking to get some work in, some damage done on the outside. There we go, the count goes up now, up to six, and the champ back in the ring. There we go, now Mini Makoto's back in the ring with her to get things underway. And looks like Zelda Ashford managing to get the upper hand. Oh, and again, just bouncing her head off of the mat. Going for a cover. And there's a two, but no. Champ manages to kick out just in time. Mini Makoto is right back on top of things with elbows to the top of the head of G1 Hyper Combo. And now just showing complete and total domination, a good deep, a good offense. Not a good defense by Hyper Combo so far as we now on the top rope and Mini Makoto just flings her off of the top into a cover. We got a two. Oh, almost a three, managing to kick out just as the ham was about to come down and hit that mat. And Mini Makoto still on top of her game. Looks like she's going to set her up for something good here. Oh, just stomps the arm. And again, more and more offensive. Trying to break down, wear down Hyper Combo with that backbreaker. Another big move there, going for a cover. Two. Oh, no, again. Near, near pinfall by Zelda Af Ashford on the G1 Women's Champ. Uh-oh, looks like she's getting ready to pump things up here. There it goes. Now going for a cover. Has that leg up. Two, three, there it is. Big win for Minimakoto this evening as we take a quick look. Uh-oh. Comes Kanan gesturing. She wants that title. Oh dear. Thought we were going to see her, and there she was. Gesturing. She's coming for that title. She wants it. But that was then. This is now. As we got none other than a red robe and a zero to hero in singles action. And there we also saw for a second a red robe's manager. Rune taking care of things, taking care of booking, hopefully help him to find a good place and hopefully come out on top in the G1 wrestling universe as he hasn't been doing so hot. Because there you see him coming down and you see her in the background hyping people up as managers are wont to do. And to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't be surprised to see him really latch on to possibly a team and really stick with it in the near future. 
would probably, the way things are looking, be the best. Still making his way down to the ring now. Very calm, cool, and collective. But of course, his opponent this evening is anything but that. As many may, may well know. None other than a Zero to Hero. It's definitely a very, albeit very professional, if not, I guess odd is the best way to put it in wrestling terms for his moveset and what he is able to do in the ring. So, now with the red robe and his manager now by his side, out will come his opponent. None other than a zero to hero. Obviously well known in the past and still to this day for his very unorthodox, seemingly almost borderlining on illegal moveset. But that just shows him to be the professional he is. Not that he's able to get away with moves that may seem illegal, but the fact that he can pull them off with such pinpoint precision to get you exactly where it needs to hit you to take your stamina, to take literally your breath away in most cases and not be ruled, you know, disqualified. Obviously, you know, again, unorthodox, but very effective, none other than a zero to hero. Been in many a match, but again, this match against a red robe is his match this evening and hopefully one of them will come out on top as they're now tied up going into the corner with the red robe looking like he's on top of things but the official breaking them up And again, official having to break them up. And also, you don't want to forget that while this match is going on, we do apparently, brought to my attention, we have a triple threat match coming up next with none other than the GSF champ himself, Barrel Dragon, in it. As again, they are locked up and going back into the corner. And again, the ref has to pull them apart. Definitely trying to keep this technical. Then, oh, but no, there's a sw leg sweep managing to also take out the ref. Luckily, he seems to be okay and easily able to get back up. And we see a good right hand, but and again from the red robe. Now with an Irish whip into a knee. But no, there's a reversal from Zero to Hero. As you see his manager out there on ringside, giving him, trying to get him up, get him pointers in some way to hopefully help him come out on top this evening. Oh, there we go. That's one way to do it. Oh, and a big shoulder breaker there. Big knee drop onto his ear to hear his face. And again, but no, there's a reversal from his ear to hero. And one right back. And again, going back and forth now with an Irish whip. Bam. And oh, there's that green mist into the eyes, that's gonna make it a little bit hard to see for a red robe. Oh, and there's a quick headbutt. And again with the mist, not careful, he's gonna make a red robe blind. Well, get, sure, giving him the advantage, not be good for him in the long run. And again, the green mist, that's three times. 
but looks like a red rope came out of it okay with an Irish rip leading a zero to hero to the outside maybe willing to do damage as he throws him into the side of the ring because that is definitely a good place to really wear a person down because you got those that steel barricade the steel poles on the side of the ring so he throws them back in the ring and those pads out there at ringside they may look and a leg drop they mo might look nice and fluffy but there's not much padding and that's cold hard concrete underneath there but now the action is back in the ring and lefts and rights and definitely putting up a good offense a red robe is right now another shoulder breaker Oh, what's this? Oh, there's that Warlock bomb he's so fond of. Will he go in for the cover? Yes, it looks like he will. Will he get it? Two and no. Can't quite believe it. Big Warlock bomb onto the zero to here. Managed to kick out at two. Oh, and dropping him right back onto both of his knees. All the way across his spine there. But there's a reversal, sweeping the leg. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, he's got him. Oh, but he's right there by the corner, wiggling, wriggling, trying to get him to loosen that hold. And okay, there he manages to get him out of it, but the damage is done. Uh-oh, this might not be good for a red rope, and here we go. Oh, that sidewalk slam rough rough as it is goes for a cover two managing to get the shoulder up just in time it looks like we got a thing swinging oh a zero to heroes way as a big headbutt to the top of the head is what's he doing now more on orthodox moves and it goes to a big flip all across a red robe Bringing him all the way down on top of him. There we get a reversal gut punch. Hopefully get things back in a red robes. Nope. Looks like a zero to hero, but no, it looks like we got a standoff now. But though, there's an Irish whip into the corner from a zero to hero. And now he flings him across the ring. Oh, big hip check from a zero to hero there. Now circling, wondering what he's gonna do. Now has him, oh, it looks like we're gonna see a big suplex there. Quickly get back up, ready to do more damage to complete his onslaught. Another lock up and again with a suplex. Oh, but he doesn't let go and again. There's two, and oh, there's a regular one for a third. That's not good for a red robe managing to hang on. But no, gets a reversal, able to get back to his feet, but not good enough as he has him by the head. Oh, just stretching him. It's not good now, dragging him across the ring. What's he gonna set him up for now? Oh, has him, has that locked in doing damage to those legs and those ankles that can't be good making it hard to stand hard to do anything uh oh looks like his ear to here is going to swing him round and round and again and again and again when's he going to drop him goes for a cover will that be enough for it two no managing to kick out just in time. Zero to here are not happy about that. And oh my goodness. Big move, big comeback going for a cover from a red robe. Managed to barely get a two count there before he gets his shoulder up. Oh, but what's what's he doing now? He's got a hold of him. Oh, 
Oh, has him stretched good. Willie Tap. Looks like Red Robe's trying to wriggle, trying to wag out of it, managing to throw him off finally. Still, that had to hurt. The damage has been done. But it looks like Azira to here has a hold of him, managing to keep the offensive. But there's a big reversal right hand. And then, oh! Dropping Azira to here back onto his knees. Uh oh. So it'll be good. Looks like somebody's going to be thrown away, disrobed as it was. Here it comes. Oh, managing to hit the ropes on the way down. I think that might have split his head open. Dragging him away from the ropes, going for a cover. Here we go. Will that be enough to do it? Two. Th no. The hand was coming down, managing to kick out. Both men now looking quite exacerbated by this event. Oh, and big chops to the side of the head from his ear to hero. Looking like he's managing to get the offensive. And oh, my goodness. Has a hold of him. Oh, looks like we got a series of suplexes from zero to hero. Uh-oh. What's he going to do now? Has him up. Uh-oh, looks like it's going to see that sidewalk slam down. He goes leaning over him. See the manager. And no, there's a three count. Not managing to get to him to get him to kick out. Looks like the win right now goes to a zero to hero. As we go to the replays, as we look here, he was setting up right here for that big first slam that he got on. Definitely doing damage. Which will ultimately take out a red robe. And of course, a red robe was managed to get the disrobe and split him open. Having him fall across those ropes. But well, here we saw the final slam right there as we see our hero, a zero to hero, the winner in this match. Looks as though Robe definitely needs a little bit more management, a little bit more training. But that's not all right now, though. We've got a big match, a triple threat match coming up for you at this very moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you saw it yourself. None other than a triple threat match between none other than the man from the North, Johnny Chase. The man coming out right now known as Misak, the former GSF champ, and of course, Barrel Dragon. Obviously, uh, Misak wants his championship back. Never know, may get it someday whenever Barrel decides to give him the opportunity or maybe force contractually to defend his title, whichever happens first. But tonight is about the triple threat match. One of, one of the men, which happens to be this man, none other than Misek. But of course, you got the other man, the man from up north, the man from Canada. Johnny Chase as well, which should definitely, I'm sure, in some way, shape, or form, liven up things. But then you can also make sure never to count out the GSF champ himself because there is a reason he is the champ. He has the willingness, the fortitude, the stamina to ultimately come out on top, but that's not the man coming out now. Right now, it is none other than the champion himself, Barrel Dragon. Proven in the past to be a good contender in the running for the championship. Finally has the championship, as you can see right there on his shoulder. Managing to take it away from the man inside the ring, or was inside the ring, Misak, at the RT Extreme Rules event. But that's not all that was happening. We also had to remember that it was, uh, bah, 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 bah. sorry. 
Misak that was that gave him that opportunity. And also not to forget that uh, also Battle Dragon coming from that big win over none other than Tom the Iron Man not long ago. But here comes our final contestant, last, definitely not least, Johnny Chase, hailing from Canada and all things Canadian. And of course, let's not forget, uh, lots of great wrestling comes from up north. Well, not exactly sure where he might have trained or what he trained with or who with. Definitely shown prowess inside the ring in the past. As the champ doesn't even get out of the ring. Not showing any respect for Johnny Chase there, but why should he? As now, about to get things underway now. This triple threat match, as you may know, as most triple threat matches do, almost anything can go. But only one man can get the one, two, three and come out on top. The question is, which one will it be? Though this isn't a title match, if somebody is willing or is able to get the win over, not over another man, but the champ himself. It'll definitely be a big deal, and Barrel Dragon immediately goes after Misak as Johnny Chase just watches from a distance. There, now he's finally getting in on the action, going after the champ. Oh, and a big right hand. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, just throwing the champ now. As Misak now going outside. Comes back in with a toy. Oh, and a sledgehammer right to the head. And looks like a barrel dragon now went outside. Oh, and has a bat. Throwing the bat down. Getting one hit in. Oh, but no, missing. And barrel dragon slams him right back down to the mat. It looks like barrel dragon now taking that hammer away and oh such agility there now it looks like both men want to get a piece of Misak take him out but there's a reversal on the barrel dragon Misak now it looks like we're going to take a moment dish out some pain on the Johnny Chase throwing him into the ring oh a big scoop slam the barrel dragon now has Misak up and down he goes Good back and forth, any man for himself so far. Definitely not playing favorites as it seems to tip one man over the other. Oh! Twist him right down to the ground as Johnny Chase happens to look on. Comes in for a nice quick stomp and again to the midsection. Oh, and a big right hand. And Whips him into the corner. Oh, what's he doing now? Johnny Chase taking the champ up top. Oh, but no, it turns around. Oh, double hex handle. Coming down on both guys. But no, immediately turned around on Misak there. Johnny Chase getting back into the fight as quick as he can. Obviously has something to prove here. But Misak takes advantage of him looking at Barrel Dragon. Manchin has him in an arm hold there. Managing to get out of it. And again, another lockup. Has a hold of him. And up and up. Looks like down he goes. Yes, into a shoulder breaker. On top of that hammer. Another left. Oh, and a big super kick. And a cover. But, oh, Johnny Chase is right there. Breaks it up as soon as he can. Excellent, amazing match so far. Oh, and a punt. Nice punt to the midsection there. Johnny Chase now picking up Barrel Dragon. And oh! A 
flying crossbody as oh and now a knee to the back of Barrel Dragon oh Misak now going in for some damage oh bringing, bringing Johnny Chase down uh oh this ain't looking good for Johnny Chase oh here it comes oh with his own move that's not good at all Oh, but here comes Barrel Dragon with the chop and a roundhouse kick. Now Barrel Dragon going for a cover. Both men down. Two, three. That did it. The champ coming out on top there. And an amazing turn of events. We see here this standoff as Barrel Dragon, the champ, looks, looks on. going for that neck breaker or shoulder breaker rather and there we see that roundhouse kick that just lays out Misak after the damage done was done to Johnny Chase taking him out and there's the three and there's your winner none other than the Ch GSF champ barrel dragon excellent strategy overcoming the almost two against one odds there to come out on top definite good for the champ all right ladies and gentlemen here we go again for the tag team match and look who it is, none other than Michael Jones and Gavin Free from the tag team, or big team rather, the Chivo Hunters coming out for tag team action. And as you may know, the Chivo Hunters, they are a team of themselves comprising of not only these two, but also, uh, like I said, these two, uh, Michael Jones, Gavin, Jack Patillo, Ryan Haywood, and Jeremy Dooley all on one team known as the Chivo Hunters. But now it's these two coming out for tag team action against none other than the creators who are having themselves a little spat with, well, the created, those which they created, Wiz and Boomstick from none other than Death Battle little show from the internet you may or may not know but again another big uh, match tonight as we got teams from actually two different companies the creators from none other than screw attack themselves and the Chivo hunters from well achievement hunter It'll be definitely interesting to see who comes out on top um, while this is their debut as a tag team uh, I'm sure they got plenty of fight and ability to come out on top as best they can from the Chivo Hunters. Because as you may or may not be aware or watched in the past, the creators have had their fair uh, matches against their created. So definitely more experience on their side but again I'm sure you can't count out these play pals coming into the ring right now as now Gavin now just stomping on Ben Singer now with an Irish whip oh into a big forearm smash to the face looks like Gavin definitely has firm control of things here well, has him up against the ropes now going to an Irish whip oh missing with that drop kick allowing Ben Singer to get oh and a big move taking Gavin down allowing Ben Singer to get a uh, upper hand there and oh big uppercut Ben Singer, oh, but no, there's a reversal, 
and a kick. What's this? Oh, a DDT from Gavin. Definitely got to hurt. Now going for a tag to Michael Jones. And up and down he goes. Oh, going for a cover. Gets a two, but no. Kicks out right at two. Apparently going to take a little bit more to get Ben Singer. And oh, misses with the drop kick. Ben Singer quickly moving out of the way. Oh, and the, with another uppercut. Now Chad, tagging in Chad James. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, snapping him down to the ring. Oh, has a hold of his head, neck, doing some damage there. Oh. Oh, but we get a reversal from Michael Jones. Jad James. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh, bringing him down. Michael Jones now in control of this match. Moving him in. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, running kick to the back. Definitely got to hurt. And now... Oh, goes for a tag, gets it to Gavin Free, but no, he's caught as he gets in, but oh, we got a reversal from Gavin, managing to gain control. Oh, a big knee, kicks and chops up against the rope, Chad James, oh, has him, but no, managing to get his way out of it, but Gavin Free into a gut buster will not be denied the momentum will still go his way and up and oh down he goes into a cover oh managing to kick out of that at two somehow rolling out of the way still managing to hit him with that right and again has him on that middle rope what's he doing oh my goodness Look to be almost on the throat of Chad James. Has him in there now. Oh, what's he? Oh, my goodness. Gavin Free. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, a super kick. That's not good. Going. Oh, but here they go inside the ring. He didn't. Ben Singer saves him. Going back out to his corner. Michael Jones didn't like that at all. But luckily, Gavin Free now still in control inside the ring. Now going up top with Chad James. Where's he going? There's only one way to go, and that's down. There he goes. Now in the middle of the ring. What's this? Oh, off the middle rope. Oh, my goodness. Trying to get out of the way. Doing a little bit of damage on both sides there. This is Chad James trying to get the tag manages to get up and get it now Ben Singer a little bit fresher than Chad now going inside the ring and there goes Ben throwing Gavin out to the outside oh and now a big stomp to the chest from Ben Singer now a kick and a punch but no it's blocked and oh, we get an elbow. Things are back inside the ring now. Where well, they should be. And now Gavin going for the tag to Michael Jones. And oh, there we go. Managing to get that tag. And now Chad James going wild. Coming in. Laying the smack down. Big move against Michael Jones. What's he got in store? Uh-oh. Oh, that beautiful uppercut from Chad James there. Going for a cover. One, two. No, managing to kick out at two. Somehow after that little onslaught from Chad James. But he's still on the offense. Still doing damage, but... Decides to go ahead and make the tag. Now they lock up there in the center. It looks like Ben Singer on top of things. Mm -hmm. 
And then, uh-oh, looks like Michael Jones is going to get his bell run by none other than Ben Singer. There it goes. Will that be good enough? Oh, here we go, going for a cover. No, only a one count. Going to take a little bit more to get through the hard head of Michael Jones, apparently. And there's a reversal. Allowing now Michael to get a Irish whip. Putting Ben Singer in that corner. Uh-oh, what's he doing now? Uh-oh. He has him. And oh! Drop kicks him from the center of the ring back into the corner. Oh! My goodness. That is definitely not good for Ben Singer. Goes for a cover to managing to kick out somehow, some way. Ben Singer managing to kick out. And now Michael with the continual elbows to the top of the head of Ben Singer. Continuing the offense and now going for a cover to Gavin Free. It's now in the ring. And oh, a big slap and another one. Now back in the corner. Oh, what's he going to do? He's up top. Oh, and a DDT from Gavin Free. Oh, my goodness. Definitely not looking good for Ben Singer inside the ring. Definitely needs a... There's a reversal. Needs to make, try and make a tag. The sweeping leg takedown there. Spinning leg takedown, rather. Oh, is he going to go for the tag? Yes, he is. Rightly so. Definitely needs to get a fresh man in there. And there he is. Chad James. And with the fireman carry taking down Gavin Free. Now with the stare down to Michael Jones. And Gavin Free though is up. And oh hits him. Taking down Michael Jones. But Gavin grabs a hold of him. And whips him right into the corner. But it looks like. Gavin was going to go for Ben and oh but no he's punched that mega super amazing punch from Chad James looked as though Gavin was going to go for Ben but he tripped allowing now Chad James to get the upper hand with that amazing punch what's he doing now oh grabbing hold of Gavin Free whipping him into the corner. Oh, looks like we got a tag. Uh-oh, what's this? And, oh, a double elbow takedown. Oh, but no, a reversal from Gavin Free. Not looking good for Ben now. It's now Chad James goes to go back to his corner. And, oh, his face now shoved down into the mat. Is Gavin Free now going for a tag? makes it definite good back and forth so far between these two teams is now Michael Jones in command and oh my goodness now take him away a little bit from that corner and Gavin Free is inside and no only a two count but Gavin has a hold of Chad James Bringing him down. Oh, smacking him around. Both men, all four men now inside the ring. No, it looks like Gavin now getting out of, outside the ring before he is disqualified. Looks as though Chad James, a little bit of bats in the belfry. They're managing to get outside back into his corner. And oh, there's a reversal knee from Ben Singer. And up and bing, managing to get his bell rung. Oh, and there goes Chad James. There's a one, two, no, only a two count. But Ben Singer now not taking this line down. Immediately goes back in for a bit more offensive. But no, we get a reversal and a reversal right back with an elbow. 
Uh-oh, what's this? A nice suplex from Michael Jones there. Looks like Ben Z Oh, just shoves him right back down. And oh, another takedown. And again. Oh, my goodness. Michael Jones now on a roll. Oh, what's he doing now? Taking him down with purpose into a cover. And Gavin now makes his way inside the ring. And there's a three count. And that does it. There's your winners this time, the Achievo Hunters. Managing to make their way to the winner's circle this time. As we see here, this tag being made. As Michael comes inside and gets this wonderful suplex there. As we see there, Chad James moving his way out of that devastating attack, but immediately going in for a gut buster from Gavin, which ultimately probably had some way, shape, or form help out the outcome of this match. There we see a wonderful little uppercut from Chad James. But again, ultimately, here it is. This great move from Michael Jones bringing down things to a level of a 1-2-3. And of course, as I said before, there's your winners. This tag team match this evening, none other than the Chivo Hunters. There you see Gavin telling Michael, come on, get up there. This is our time. It's our time to celebrate. Yeah, that's right. And there they are from the Achievement Hunters, the Chivo, the tag team of the Chivo Hunters. But what do we got up next? Stay tuned and find out right now. That's right. Uh-oh. As we try to get things on the way quickly. With both men down in the ring already, we have none other than Dylan Toomey, who's been in the thick of it with none other than Hydro, who has a match, as you can see right now, not going so well at the beginning against the original G1 Game Day's champ, none other than Clayman himself. There we go. looks like Hydro managing to, managing to get uh, on top of things so far. But the question is, what exactly will become of Dylan Toomey there on the outside? Will he be an interference, a uh, hindrance in any way? As, uh oh, it looks like Hydra trying to put this away quickly. That's not a bad idea to do with someone like Clay. <clears throat> but obviously of no avail as he kicks out. And, oh, there's a little spin kick from Clay. And now throwing Hydro to the outside. And Clay quickly coming out there to join him with a quick stomp. Oh, oh, and again, nice combo by Clay. Taking him down with a net breaker. That count is starting to go up. Men need to get back inside the ring or be count out it or counted out. And there we see a knee drop on Hydro's face and again and then uh oh no he's going up top oh where's he going Hydro oh catches him oh into an arm lock on the outside now lets him go tries to give him a face full of Hydro but misses Clay doing now has him up against that side but no Hydro reverses it with a knee throwing Clay up against the stairs goes back in and out to restart the count oh managing to give Clay a nice face full of Hydro there and again throwing into the stairs 
There's absolutely no giving those steel steps. I can tell you that much right now. As Oh, and again, series of kicks by Hydro. And it's up to five, and Hydro decides to get back inside the ring. It's Dylan Toomey now still on the outside at ringside. And now Clay back inside the ring. Managing to get a hold of Hydro. Is he trying to figure out what's going on? Uh-oh. What's this? Oh, and a big elbow drop from the middle rope there from Clay. Oh, but we got a reverse from Hydro and a fireman carry from Clay. Managing to keep the momentum going in his direction. We get an elbow from the side and no, Clay not having it. And now Hydro whipping Clay into the corner. And oh, now what's this? Oh, face plants him right down into the mat. Definitely good way to get a broken nose. And now oh, that's a good way to get a concussion right there. Just snapping him down like a wet towel onto the mat. Going for a cover. Two. Oh, only a two count that time. <clears throat> Definite good offensive from Hydro right now. But now Clay fighting back with the rising knee there. Oh, and we get a over-shoulder reversal there. McClay not taking things lightly, not taking it lying down. Oh, goes up top. Oh, flips him over. Taking him down. Oh, goes for a cover. Only gets a one count, though. Oh, a drop kick to the back of the head. Oh, now doing a little bit of work on that arm. That can't be good for it, that's for sure. Now Clay looks to have things going in his way as he gets an Irish whip. Oh, into a super kick off the ropes there. Now stomping on the back of the legs of Hydro. Question of picking him up. What's he got in store by throwing him into the corner? But no, he's met with an elbow. But Clay immediately back on top of things to take the fight to Hydro there. Oh! Goes for a cover with that amazing flip. Only gets a two count though. Oh, and a big kick to the back there. Oh, and a spinning leg drop. Picking him up to do a little bit more damage. Managing to flip him. And oh, hasn't been a headlock down there on the ground now. What's he planning on doing? Is he going to... No. Hydro reversing it. Now getting back on top. Now they break up in the middle of the ring. Clay. Oh, rolling into a kick. Now Clay... Oh, big sidewalk slam, bringing him down. Going for a cover. Only gets a two count, though. Clay can't quite believe it. He's done quite a pit, bit to do some damage to Hydro, and Hydro is not having it as Hydro now easily flipping him over. Oh, what's he doing now? Hydro now whirling him around and round and round and round. Oh dear, there he finally lets go. Is he gonna he's gonna move him? Is he gonna go for a cover? Yes. But will that be able to do it? Two only a two, barely a two even. It's both men now seem to be pretty tired and oh managing out of nowhere it seems to give clay a big nice face full of hydro going in for a cover immediately two no only a two count 
only a two count that time. Oh, now Hydro, a little showboating while on the offensive now. Things going his way at the moment. You definitely can't count the champ out yet, uh, or the former original champ, as he's now in the corner. So what's Hydro have in store for him here? Where's he going? What's he doing? But no, Clay manages to reverse it, but Hydro... Giving him a quick hit, getting him out of that corner. Sending Clay into the other turnbuckle over there. Now throwing him, bouncing him off into a suplex. Moving him. Is he going for a cover here? Yes, he is. There's a two. Only gets a two count. Uh-oh, what's this? Hydro has him up. Oh, snaps him back down again. Like last time, that is definitely not good. And right, we got a two, only a two count. Both men back on their feet now. Hydro, oh, managing to get a face full of Hydro again on Clay. Will he go for a cover? Yes, he will. Will that be enough? It's the third one, two, three. Third time is the charm, apparently. As Hydro now getting a win over the original G1 Game Day champ. Clayman is now Dylan Toomey coming in. Now holding up the arm of Hydro, congratulating him for a good match and rightly so it was a good match but that match is all we have for tonight so till next time